Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and connect the device to our laptop and download the data. So the first thing that we're going to do is just go ahead and open it up. Just grab the end, end here and unscrew it. So we're going to check to make sure that the O-ring is, is clean, that there's no debris, dirt, that kind of stuff there. And these here, these are the weights. So this is how we keep the sens sensors neutrally buoyant, is by adding these little weights here. So what you can do if you want to make the sensor lighter, you can take some of these weights off and it will become buoyant and float right up to the top. Or if you want to make the sensor heavier, you can also add a very small uh, washer on here. It will sink right to the bottom. So you can actually control the buoyancy of the sensors by adding or removing weight from these uh, from this end here. So now we can look inside here and we see the USB-C connection. So we have our regular USB-C cable. It will work with any cable. It doesn't need a special cable. Go ahead and plug that in. And then we're going to plug the other end in here. This is just a regular USB connection. See here that the indicator light goes on red. That means that the sensor has been connected and that the battery is actively being charged. So when the red light goes off, that means that the battery is fully charged. So in this case, there's still a little bit left to go. So the battery is gonna charge while we're collecting our data. If we open File Explorer, we can see that um, a range of files are here and the sensor files all start with A02, which is the uh, ID of our particular sensor. And following that, they have the day and the month, and then the hour, minute, second, when the device was recording. 